Alright everybody, welcome back to another Earthbound Super Series Buggy Percent Tournament and a race with Ukoid and with Jimothy on the left, Lord Taco and Joseph on the right. That's right, this is a quad. Thanks everyone for being patient. Had a little bit of technical difficulties, but let's get these players rolling. Good luck to all the runners, and how is everyone in chat? Wow. It seems like we've got a little bit of delays from each. Let's see if we can't fix it here. Not like that. There we go, that's much better. Oh, but Uko, um, the, this moved over a little bit. There we go. Please let me know if there's any issues with the audio or anything like that. Otherwise, let's see how these racers did last week. Ukoid, they had a 112 last week, lost to Daniel. With Jimothy had. Why can't I find with Jimothy? Ah, there we go. <laughs> uh, with Jimothy had a 135, so hopefully we'll be able to bounce back this week. Lord Taco had a 122 last week. And Joseph had a 118 last week. So these are all 0-1 racers. They're trying to go 1-1. One one. Even if they go 0-2, they are not out of brackets yet. Uh, they can still make it in. So good luck to all of them. Not enough cowbell. Okay, too much macaroni. Uh-huh, yes. <laughs> so it looks like Taco uh, will get the bat later, but everyone else got the bat early. Oh, did Lord Taco have a, a rough night of practice? I, I saw that he was streaming beforehand, but didn't know how it was going. Lord Taco's still waiting on the bat. We'll likely get it the third turn. Yeah, I apologize for Uko's capture. Um, I clicked on their stream, and I think it moved it over slightly. So, apologize for that. As always, first four minutes or so, not too much to deviate there. Just gotta get through the opening plot. Alright, Taco, bat time for you. Very good. Grab the bat, and for the most part, everyone lines back up. Uko's got the lead by a few seconds. I expect Uko to go behind the couch both ways. I'm not sure what the other runners will do. Yep, very good. Oh, Taco behind the couch. Joseph in front of the couch. Yep, 
And Jimothy behind the couch. Two and two. Uko, decent spawns. Got to drag that uh, dog down to the tree. Taco had to try it again. I was going to try a third time. Joseph's uh, got a crow in a good spot. Now Taco's good. And Jimothy, ooh, I was worried about the a potential zoom crow, but we got it. Uko looked like they had some good stutters there. Ooh, Taco had to avoid both a snake coming at him and the crow. Unfortunately, uh, got in a crow fight. Uko making good movements up to the hill. Very good time. Taco didn't die to the crow, so that is fortunate. Now he's able to just walk past the snake, but uh, might get the dog fight here. You can't stutter the dog. Yeah, that's a that's a red swirl, unfortunately. Jimothy doing a good job getting the snake stuck on the tree. And Joseph is up at the top of the hill. Beautiful pokey pull. It would not be a hunter restream if Hunter uh, didn't mention that beautiful pokey pull by Uko. And unfortunately, Jimothy got a late snake fight. So we got a got quite a few fights on the hill for some of these runners here. All right, Taco, just have a no more fights. Have a good clean hill. Another snake? Wow, that's quite a late spot for Jimothy. For anyone that saw my race um, last night, I had a snake actually on the hill. Like the snake was right beside Picky, and I had to go around the tree to the to the top. So, um, luckily, I've seen it before a, a couple times, maybe two or three times. So I knew to to always keep an eye out for it. But still, kind of like whoa, wasn't expecting that one. Um, yeah, that would be a lot of, of text, honestly. <laughs> Appreciate the, the thought, though. It may be for other people, but, um, <laughs> I'm doing well enough just to have it running. All right, the very complex press left and hold auto fight. Eighty-nine. Starman Junior's got two hundred HP, so hopefully we can go do two turns for Ukoid. Got to get over a hundred on the next turn, though. Ooh, a thirty-two. Yikes. What's Joseph gonna get? Oh, I missed Joseph's first turn. Okay, so next time we'll have their PB, their blood type, their favorite color, and their birth certificates. I don't know about the birth certificates, just because uh, you know, there might be some some uh, potential problems with that. But I don't see why we couldn't do blood types. I mean, I think that's really important to know. All right, Ukoid is through Starman Jr. with a pretty good time. Sub eight minutes, I'm always happy with that. All three other runners are still in Starman Jr. Joseph down with an 820. Not bad. Taco with an 8, uh, I think it was about 8.42. And looks like, uh, looks like Jimothy had a lot of different, um, rounds here. Taco's taking an ad break. We'll be back. <laughs> I believe I had him as racer... 3, where did that go? There we go.
Alright, let's see how the path to Onet goes for everybody. Clean for Ukoid. Very good. Oh, okay. I was worried that he was, uh, they were going to get pincered there, but... <laughs> too too far of a distance to try and talk to the, the kid with the baseball cap. And Joseph's. Also clean. Two for two. Mine is never clean, so I'm already upset, but that's fine. Lord Taco. Well, uh, the snake is, is not going to get him, so also clean. Three for three. Jimothy, let's see if we can make it four for four. Let's go four for four on what is known as the zoo. Jimothy, don't forget it for that baseball cap, though. Make sure to get it. Lukoid starts. Pogo one. Nice four HP hits. That's what we want to see. And three and done. Very easy. Reminder that Jimothy and Taco both uh, took fights on the hill, so they are level three. Hopefully that'll make Pogo one a little safer for them. Pogo 2 down for Ukoid and Pogo 1 down for Joseph. Very good. Ooh, nice smash on the Yes Man. So, Yes Man Jr. down for Ukoid, Pogo 1 down for Taco, and Pogo 2 down for Joseph. Alright, I'm going to pay a little attention to Ukoid here as they start the Frank fight. Ooh, Jimothy got a few extra shark spawns there. Guts, 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 just keep saying things, that's what we want to see. Very good Frank fight. You went through the life ups at the end, um, but I really liked the uh, the wasted turns uh, at the beginning of the fight there. All right, and Joseph starting Frank. Joseph's hitting for for pretty high HP there with that 19. Nice smash on Frankie Stein for Ukoid 1320. That's a solid time. Very good. Joseph having to uh, get to their burgers. But getting through Frank. And I think Taco just had a smash on Frank. And Frank's down for Taco. So Joseph and Taco in the Frankie Stein fight. And that's the last healing item that Joseph has. So now they're hoping that uh, there's no not too many large hits coming their way. Okay, good. Frankie Stein down for Joseph, about 1424. And Joseph and Taco are the two racing each other on the right side. 
and Taku got Frankenstein down at 14.36, about a 12 second difference for the right side. Oh, I forgot that with Jimothy, like, apparently he has never done boogie percent before the tournament. Because I was like, they, they gold split the Starman. And they got Frank down. Very good. This will be a gold split as well for, for Jimothy. More than likely. Uko grabbing burgers. I would expect all four runners to grab burgers, but we'll see what happens. Alright, last big healing item for Jimothy. Jimothy also has a bread roll, but uh, not going to be a huge help on this one. Awesome. All four runners making it through. Frank and Frankie Stein with no deaths. And Jimothy is now four minutes over PV pace. Actually, four and a half minutes. Uko finding their first slug pack. <laughs> Thanks, Shallow Coffee. Appreciate it. So we need to down 22 different things here. Easiest would be 22 slugs. Um, you can opt to get a six-pack on the top floor. You can opt to get 24 slugs by getting four packs on the bottom. You can fight other things along the way, like rowdy mice. They're not the worst thing ever, so you got some options. Uko only has three slugs here. I'm not sure if the fourth exists or if they um, or if something happened to that one. So they'll be at seven after this fight instead of eight. Oh, we got three. Oh, there's the eighth. Okay. Got three runners on the slug fights now. Cool little feature of getting them uh, individually is uh, usually it makes the fights faster because you just auto win and uh, it increases your chances of getting the bomb drop. It's still the 1 in 128, but it only counts once per battle. So even though there's four slugs, you only get a 1 in 128 chance for that battle. Fight them individually, you get that times four. All right, I'm going to be honest, though. Um, once we start to get to three and four people doing slug grind, I am definitely going to lose count because I already have. So um, I apologize, but we'll just uh, watch and see how it goes. Uko down to five HP. Four, eight, two, sixteen, twenty-four, thirty-one, one, zero, three, seven. I know you're trying to count slugs, but I think that that's actually the combination to like some some of your locks. Is that is that more accurate? Also, where'd you find a seven pack? Twenty-four to thirty-one. <laughs> Uko already going for the third floor. Lottery numbers. <laughs> Whoa, that mouse is really close for Uko. Yeah, they're just going to respawn the whole area. I like it. I don't, yeah, I don't think those are the slugs you're looking for. <laughs> 
Taco's got the, uh, we'll call it the standard setup with that mouse stuck there. Because in that spawn plate, the, the mouse is stuck on the cliff, and as you reload that spawn plate, there will never be anything other than uh, the potential for slugs. Because it says, do I spawn a mouse? No, I already have one there. I can't spawn another mouse. There's a six-pack on the left for Uko. Can you get to it? The lag. Oh my gosh, the lag is real. Do it, Uko! Yeah! Oh, that was one of them behind. I had no idea. So that will be 22 for Uko. Uh, we'll have to see where everyone else is. Joseph and Jimothy just getting some slugs at the same time. All four runners are in a slug battle right now. Alright, Uko, what's your offense up? Don't be too. Four is pretty likely. I don't know if they had any smashes to to know whether or not they're at 24 offense. Um, but chances are, if you're at four, I, w I would feel pretty safe with that. Jimothy's at 20 offense, so we'll look for four offense up for them. And Taco's at 18. Now 20 at level 7. Uko knows that even despite the fact that they may be at 24 offense, it is faster to stutter around if possible. Oh, but the Red Swirl's not faster, unfortunately. Uh, so they'll have to, to do some digging to get out of this one. That could have been a lot worse. So I think Uko probably burger here and just be down one burger for the ant fight. That's but that would be my guess. Mm -hmm. There it is. Jimothy got a, a mouse stuck on a different spawn plate. I'm not sure if that's quite where the spawn should be for the ants, but we'll see. For the slugs, excuse me. 83 HP for a rockin' one. If we get over 80, we're fairly happy. Ninety-five, very good. So one eighty, I think about two. No, I think about two ten. I think there's like one, maybe two more hits. This should do it. Very fast time. Twenty-two forty-two. Ant is down for Ukoid. Awesome. All three other runners are still on the first floor, still fighting slugs. All three of the runners have found a slug pack. Is this... Where's Jimothy in here? So Jimothy's still level 7. I'm not sure if this is enough for Taco or Joseph to get to level 8. We'll have to see. One extra burger. I don't even think... Uko didn't even use any burgers, so... They'll have plenty for cops. Taco is level 8, and Taco has 24 offense. So Taco will now make their way up to Titanic Ant. Oh, and another four-pack that you don't need. They were like, hey, we were waiting until you got 24 so that we could hang out with you. <laughs> Taco's stuttering all around him. Doing a good job, by the way. Oh, and, and Joseph's at level 8, but I didn't get to see the offense. Joseph's just going to fight the mouse that's in the way. mice and their lovely smashes. I don't remember the exact number. They have a ridiculous amount of guts. It means that they'll smash roughly half the time. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, it doesn't say. So, uh, we'll make up something. Like, I honestly feel like they have, like, I think it's 220 guts, but you divide by 5. I don't know why that's sticking in my head. I don't... I, 225, and then you. I think you divide by 5, so it's like 44% or something. 45%. Top one down for Uko. And Taco's about to start the ant fight, so I'm going to focus on that for just a moment. Fucking one is 88. Very good. Didn't take a hit. There's a, a small hit, so that's fine. Rocking 279, also very good. So, Ant's got probably 75 HP to go. Hopefully, no shield, maybe about three hits. There's one hit, hopefully, about two left. Taco's still got a life up they can use. Oh, there goes the shield, so now it's going to be a few extra hits. And a heavy hit to Taco. But. Cue it up the burger, up to 48. And Joseph going into the ant fight. Uh, 77 HP on rockin' one. And 73 on the other, so about 150, about 80 HP left. Tacos through the ant fight, very good. I saw that Uko took mortal damage, but outsped on the next turn. I don't know if that would have been lethal otherwise, but uh, I think uh, we're glad that the outspeed happened. Oh no! I looked away and Joseph died. Ah, I didn't even see why that happened, but I'm sorry to sorry to see that. I was hoping for a completely deathless Onet. Is Uko out of burgers? Oh, that was a really low rockin'. Uh, Strong's got 140 HP, so they've got, well, about 50 left after that last hit. About 20 left. It should be one big hit, but... Strong down. 27, 51, Onet for Uko. Uko putting on a clinic showing why they have won Earthbound Boogie Series two years in the past. So unfortunately, Joseph has to not only go back through Giant Step, but they have to get some burgers to prepare for it. Jimothy is in the fight. I missed Rockin' 1, but Rockin' 2 is going to be a 90. That's really good. Ooh, that's, that's not good. Please. Ah! Jimothy got lost. I don't, I don't know how they got down to 15 HP, but yeah. Anytime that the ant's gonna hit and, and actually connect, you're not gonna survive that. So, unfortunately, Jimothy having to restart as well. Taco starting the cop gauntlet.
Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Look at the camera, ready, say, fuzzy pickles! Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Ah, sorry to hear that, Jimothy. Jimothy in chat said that um, the reason they were down to that low HP is because Ness missed on what would have been the last hit. Good old Ness. All right, cop three for Taco. Taco's got plenty of burgers still. Fifty-four HP is right on the cutoff for uh, for healing. I don't know if Taco uses any no different number, but the number that uh, I hear get used a lot is fifty-five. So we'll see if Taco wants to play it a little risky or or just go ahead and heal on this first turn here. Oh, actually, a fifty-seven now. So ooh, and a smash. Very nice, cop four. I'd heal again, yep, there we go. Ah, uh, that's right on the border. I'll, I'll, I'm not against you trying it. 87, we need 53 to go. 109, that'll do it. Strong down for Taco, 3145. Joseph entering a room and Antoid staring at his face. Don't call for help. Don't miss Ness. Gosh. Uh, might want to consider rocking at this point when you've got three on the screen. <laughs> okay, good. Joseph getting out of it. Jimothy about to take... Uh, that wasn't how I thought the enemies were lined up. But, um... Timothy making it work. All good. Taco finding a butterfly already. Very good. And Onet. All right. Round two for Joseph. Oh, and a red swirl for Timothy. Man. 91. Very good. Support the burger there. And 110. Wow. 200 HP. About 30 left. Probably two hits. Oh, outsped the ant. That's unusual. Alright, but Joseph made it through. Very good. And Jimothy is uh, almost back at the ant. Meanwhile, Uko is at PRV now. Uko having a... Oh, I guess they felt some lag. I didn't even, I didn't even see anything jitter on the screen. Oh, hello, tree. <laughs> Drag that tree along with you. A 90 uh, rock and roll from uh, Jimothy.
And an 81, 170, they got about 60 HP to go. Whoa. <laughs> Those two, uh, the UFO diamond was like swooping out and into each other. That's, that's odd. clean PRV. Uko is on an amazing pace right now. No step on snacks. Very good. And Jimothy made it through Ant. Alright, we're all through Ant now. This is Taco's first time. Looks like this is his first time through PRV, so. Yep, back there, and then back to get the pencil eraser. Joseph getting a few extra burgers for cops. Shaq Fu fight. A game you can't win. Rockin' and hope for 94 on the cultus. And hope that it hits the cultus. Sorry that I misspoke. <laughs> oh, 105 will do it. 105 will make up for the miss the first time. Taco's bringing the dog along on the trip. Banana. 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 Fresh egg. All free. And honestly, about the same time as it takes to, to buy a croissant. So I, I just do all fresh eggs here. Um, I, basically, I'd rather the safety of not dying to car painter. Um, as opposed to the benefit that the banana gives to keeping your HP low. Um, but Uko, I think, has mastered the, the low HP and the how to plan with the bananas, so kudos to them for that. Yeah, Maladroid, that's my <laughs> like my main concern. Like, I don't want to even think about like outspeeding and, and having that fail. I just give me a fresh egg, give me the 80 HP that is coming with, and you know, I'll just deal with it. I'll go fight a bear if I have to. Alright, strong for Joseph. And, okay, heal, good. I had a missed rockin'. So I don't know how much that they have left to do, but hopefully not too much. One, uh, reflect for Uko. Good rocking hit. Joseph's defeated. Strong, very good. Um, yeah, the 20 is not going to work, so we have to use a banana a little early. Let's see, so the Uko had to heal twice there because of that, but they made it work. And last banana. They do have a life up, so it's not the end of the world. Fresh. 
<laughs> Uko actually... Oh, no, that was the, the correct term. I was thinking that uh, Uko healed early because of the lightning round, and there's like a little bit of a heal glitch when that happens, but... 5 HP? 5 HP? Come on, come on. Yes! On the last possible chance. Tower Painter down, 5 HP. No, small, small levels. Uh, Vitality up, 30. I was hoping we could convince Uko to do a Crow Warp, but I don't think we can do that on 32. Meanwhile, Jimothy is against Strong. He's got one rockin left to go. That was a low roll on that second rockin. Okay. Jimothy is out of O-Net. Let's look at next major event will be Taco doing the Shaq Fu fight. Uko's menuing so clean, so fast. Love it. All right, Taco, let's get some 94 rock and rolls. Well, we got one of them. The other's got 44 HP left, so I don't know that you can do that in one hit. Yeah, not quite. But otherwise... Nice clean fight. Very good. And and Taco's got an extra ten psychic points to work with now. And did uh did Ness gut save or Still is a nice uh, fast death warp though. Jimothy saving at the hotel. Very interesting. Uko doing the wiggle. Doing the wiggle. <laughs> yep, this is the last run of the night. About halfway through. Ooh, another picture. Get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera and say, Fuzzy Pickles. What a great photograph. We will not look at that at the end of the run. So, ooh, three cultists for Taco. That's not good. Start rolling those rockins by now. He saved 10 psychic points on the shack fight. Might as well use it now. Okay. And Taco got out of it. That's, that's awesome. Glad to see that there. Three runners walking around Tucson. Hmm, how many proto skips? So one and two combined? Hmm. I'm going one. I'm going a grand total of one proto skip.
Meanwhile, Tarko is in the Car Painter fight. Down to 7 HP. Uh, yeah, that's... You should be safe, but I don't... Yeah, I don't mind using that burger right there. Ooh, double reflect. Is that enough? Very good. Car Painter is down for Lord Taco. Lord Taco will be doing uh, his death warp to get back to Tucson. Jimothy and Joseph are working in Tucson and PRV at the moment, but you guys get to listen to the sounds of Runaway 5. I'll see you afterwards. Uko also mentioned that they did left theater correctly. I did not notice, but awesome. That just is such a wonky movement for me that I don't know. I understand that it saves time. I just don't like it. <clears throat> All right, Joseph is walking through PRV. Good grief, Taco. You got enough crows there? Quickly look at Uko's screen. I think Uko is a huge right bus fan. Yep, one right bus. So far, nice and fairly clean for Joseph. Gotta get rid of that tree, though. <laughs> Diamond, please. Chase me all the way down here. And clear for Jolt, so very good. Very good PRV. Yeah, you, you gotta have the receiver phone unless you're doing glitches. And fun fact, if you didn't know, um, even if you don't have the receiver phone, um, you can still receive calls from the, the plot points in the game. Alright, Uko is in 2 3 Taco is back into Tucson. And Joseph's now in pure, uh, happy, happy. Who? <laughs> Pumpkin Man. I wouldn't try that one, Uko. <laughs> Alright, let's see how Joseph's um, shack fight goes. <laughs> oh no, a fly! Well, 
This is Uko's on the way back down, so a death isn't the end of the world. They just go to the hotel. Eighty, eighty-one. Ooh, <laughs> down the fly with nine HP left. Second rocking for Joseph. That'll do, and that'll do. All right. Uko let me down. No, no problem here from the nice hotel lady. <clears throat> Alright, with Jimothy is going through PRV. Let's see how they do. Ooh, wow, Diamond, please. Just come right through there. Good dodge there for Jimothy. I feel like PRV was like a real big sticking point for the first squad of the night. So, you know, not wanting to jinx anything, but I'm, I'm glad to have seen it um, go as smoothly as it has for the other runners so far. Looks like Joseph got through uh, the second cultist fight really quickly. Jimothy uh, avoided that fight very well. Jimothy, excuse me. <laughs> I guess Jimothy, I guess that's just uh, in his playbook. Like, ah, I'll take a look. Uh, nope, there's too many enemies. We'll uh, forget that idea. Uh, in the meanwhile, Joseph has two Reflex and a one-turn Car Painter. Car Painter's down. Very awesome job. <clears throat> Luko is in the Winter's Boarding School with my boy Jeff and his boy Tony. And nobody's boy, Maxwell. Uko dropping the spray can the first time by. I love it. Uko needy, needlessly checking their stats. Uh, we all know that their offense was two, their defense was two, their guts was two, their speed was two, their IQ was two, their vitality was two, and their luck was two. Left side bus by Lord Taco. I see you up there. Alright, Shack fight for Jimothy. Come on, one rockin' if not two. Or I guess I should say two rockins if not one. That's a good hit. Got about 15, 17 HP to go on the, the second cultist. That's enough. And saved a rockin' for a future fight. Very good. Joseph skipping out of Happy Happy. Gonna go find a fight somewhere in PRV, I guess. Um, yeah, we we'll just take a huge fight there. Very good.
freeze the tree so it blows up on you. Here we go. Death. Death. And now Joseph just waits it out. For those of you with Tessie emotes, it's Tessie time with Uko. Also, I'd like to point out a 55-minute timer right now. That is insane for Tessie time. Alright, I wanted to enjoy that music as much as I can, but Jimothy is fighting Car Painter. Uh, they came in with 30 psychic points, so they have just been spamming Rockins as much as possible. And Car Painter's down with a really good HP. Let's see if we uh, can keep it low after some level ups. 29, awesome. That's going to make Death Warp very nice. Alright, Uko, let's see Proto 1 skip. Everyone's expecting you to do it by now. Okay, that's Proto 1 check. I don't think that counts. But that is Proto 1 very fast. Nice duck setup. Beautiful duck setup. One skip. Alright, there's one proto skip. <laughs> That's an awesome brick road. Three turn proto, duck uh, skip, and proto two skip. All right, Pond Cave. That is a, that's an intense stutter. Okay, they opened it up. They opened that up. Blew the defense. Did a QB sneak. Brett said I'm the safety. QB said, uh, I'm gonna go around your defender one more time and then you'll be gone. Yeah, that Rhett's stuck. Very good setters by Uko. Room two down. <laughs> nope, nope, <laughs> not a uh, room three, not down. No. Nope. Uko preloads uh, holding left into room three, and it scares me every time. I like to just stand there for a second and see if it's even worthwhile. Taco gonna go for a dog fight. Nope. 
cleared it out. And Joseph, what kind of bus do we have for you? Another right. Two rights, one left. Meanwhile, Uko is out of Pond Cave at one hour, barely over that number. Um, so that is... I think a 105 is possible, but not likely. I would say the most likely value right now is a 106. Joseph on the bus. Jimothy after Death Warp back in Tucson. Taco getting ready to ride on Tessie. Yeah, Peden Train, I mean, since Uko's doing it, I, I don't doubt that that's, you know, a, a viable strat. It just, it scares me. Like, I, I watched them do it four times, and it scared me every time. <laughs> Hurry up, Tessie. Yeah, three cutscenes at once. <laughs> All right, Joseph's off the bus. Let's see a nice clean graveyard. That is not a clean graveyard. I can barely move out there. It's like being in a swamp. Oh, oh, good green, though. Good green. Yes, bring the other one over. Taco is about to start uh, Brick Road. We'll see how that goes for them. Yay, Joseph, thanks for the no problem here. I saw it. Make sure that girl's happy. Uh, Taco, that is the wrong way. <laughs> Taking Proto One. All right, very nice and easy Proto One for Taku as well. Taco deciding to go for the duck fight. And we'll see how Uko gets to Boogie Tent. Are they going to pick up a bear? Are they going to use some skip sandwiches? No bear! And yes to skip sandwich. No proto skips from Taco. Oh, 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 yep, yeah, I don't, I don't like those enemies, Uko. <laughs> all right, five seventy nine HP is how many Boogie Tent has. Let's see if we can get that all with the BBR. That's close. Our rocket and a bottle rocket should seal the deal. 
That is it. GG to Uko. It's going to be a low 106. That'll be enough to win the match and, even though we don't count it, win the quad as well. Uko, I'm going to have to miss your official time because I'm staring at Jimothy's bus choice. Two and two. 106.09 for Uko. Uh, let's see. So their first match, they had a 112. So they, they majorly improved for the second match. And they are moving to one and one. And off to the tent glitch. Oh no! Taco's in a rat fight. Please. Please don't smash for 14. Okay, thank you. Is that a PB for Uko? No, Uko has um, at least a 104. I don't remember if they ever got better than that. Let's take a look real quick. Uko, 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 Uko. 103.20 last year. So Uko's got a... They've had some really good runs in Boogie for sure. Green Sorrel Crow for Joseph. Taco through room two. Get into room three. Joseph doesn't need to go that way in winters. They can take the... Uh, the the middle path, the very um, narrow path. It avoids a lot of enemies that way. Making it work, though. Almost green swirling the dog with monkey. I don't know if that was his intention. Taco at the rope. Taco through Pond Cave. Is Taco's PB a 117? Because if so, they should PB today. <laughs> Uko getting Qs and Sixes and Ts and just, just one letter at a time. You know, don't want to overstate, you know, be too wordy. Just one letter is all we need. <laughs> Taco, oh, I was afraid you're gonna hit the photo there, but got around it. Jimothy got into a fly battle. I don't know if they were able to uh, see the guards beforehand. Seven HP got away. Uh, yep, no life up. Do you have some burgers though? Yeah, this is looking really good for Taco then. Chat just confirmed Taco's PB is a 117. This is... Uh, I'll, I'll say 114 pace. About to be in a triple cutscene again. While we're watching this, I will mention that we have a lot more races scheduled already for this week. We've got three tomorrow, and let's see if they all have a restream. 10 a.m. Eastern Time tomorrow. So tomorrow morning, Irving's going to be streaming Octopus Cow versus Flight Eagles Fly. At noon Eastern Time tomorrow, 
Aerofram will be restreaming Derek vs. Wizard Vapes. And at 7 Eastern Time, RJ will be streaming Shallow Copy vs. Shuggy T. Uh, and then I will be back at 9.30 Eastern tomorrow night, uh, streaming Irving vs. Zelda Rock Xander. So that's four different streams happening tomorrow. Make sure your calendars are booked with EBSS. Um, there is a link to... Here, let me... Uh, I, yeah, we have a schedule set up on the channel. Ah, oh, okay. I'll send a link anyway, just so you can enjoy it. Joseph getting through Proto-1. Fighting the duck. Through the duck. Let's see what happens with Proto-2. I don't know that Jeff's high enough. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh that almost worked. Yep, the, the tent glitch is... You, there's a certain pixel that uh, you check because, like, all the maps of Earthbound, Onet, Tucson, as well as, like, Ness's bedroom, those sorts of things, they're actually all on one huge map. And this happens to be the corner of the huge map that uh, Uko is checking. And when you check outside the map, the, the game just freaks out. Yeah, we now need Jimothy to get both proto-skips in order to get the, the three gold that we're looking for. Taco's getting the teddy bear. Taco's about to use a skip sandwich. You should maybe go there unless you have something better to do. That's it for today. Defending. We're gonna bash. Oh, Joseph getting in a rat fight. Alright, BBR, do 579, please. Two. F oh, man, that sucks. Alright, you'll see some rockins and some bottle rockets, and hopefully uh, it's enough to get through there. We got three rockins, bottle rocket. Don't confuse kids. Good. We're up to about 320. The bottle rocket didn't work. Ah! 330. We're about 250 short. Those two rockins are not going to be enough. We're about 160 short. Smash for one. I think we're about 50 short. The freeze is going to do about 10. We're probably in the neighborhood of about 40 short. So, I don't know how this one's going to turn out. It's not the way we wanted it to be. As long as the tent doesn't, uh, doesn't kill the kids. I mean, Ness is going to be missing a bunch because, uh, they're, they're crying. So their, their accuracy is cut in half, but... Yeah, just keep flashing us over and over. Just make us cry more. Yeah, prayer honestly is might be the the strat here. Joseph is almost through Pond Cave. So there Oh, there went the teddy bear. Mm-hmm. 
three? Why did it do three damage? All three kids miss. Jolso's about four minutes behind right now. Oh, I don't, I don't know that you need to. Oh, trying to use healing to get rid of the tears. Yeah. Oh no, T T feels strange. That's concerning. Paul is gone. Okay, so. Yeah, and he just hit himself and then continues on for three. And now to one? Oh, he's using defense spray over and over. I didn't catch that. Oh my gosh. Taco, I feel bad for you. Man, that that should have been a PB. And obviously the, the victory. You should have been holding your head up high for that one. So... Boogie Tent rears his ugly face for one of our runners. So we've lost the teddy bear. Um, Taco does have money in the bank, though. And uh, possibly a defense spray. Uh, yep, so... I would sleep solo Ness. Cheaper. And then... I would pick up whatever kids I wanted to pick up. And buy any firearms and stuff that I need and then go from there. Meanwhile, Jimothy's going through uh, Brick Road. Is... I thought Taco was giving up for a second. I think Taco just is looking for the hospital. You're almost there! There's the hospital. But, uh, that's concerning. You just bought all your... Or you just took out all your money. And if this thing kills you, then you've lost half your money. Alright, we need new audio. Ooh, wow, those flies almost got him. All right, looks like uh, looks like I was right. I was right. There's only one proto skip in the whole quad, but you know, no one's no one's caring. Not trying to bloat, brag, gloat, bloat. But watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Okay. No. Oh, oh my gosh, Taco. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Brash? I just saw you over there now. Yeah, I'm sorry. I I, I was not looking at chat for a moment. So, yes. I, I see that you conceded victory. Thanks. Alright. This race on the right here between Taco and Joseph has gotten a very close all of a sudden. Joseph skipping the teddy bear. Joseph gonna buy some equipment himself. Yes, the matchups are vertical, so Joseph and Taco are the two facing each other. Sorry, Mad Cat. <laughs> Alright, Joseph's gonna get back to the tent first. Joseph's got 40 psychic points, gonna go all out offensive. Uh, but Paula is dead. 
Looking for 500. That is enough. Joseph's going to steal the victory away from Taco. Oh my gosh. I like that idea about adding a versus there. I'll do that if the, if the quad comes up in the future. Thanks for the feedback. Joseph sneaks away. I believe that was a 120.53. I will verify that later, but I will put that in for now. In a run that really should have been tacos. Just unfortunate boogie tent woes. And that is the first lead change um, from Skyrunner to end of race that we've had this tournament. I've been keeping little stats. Didn't have a chance to showcase them in the quad because obviously a quad requires a lot more focus, but but that's the first time that that's happened. So, Taco, please get through Boogie Tent this time. Nice 83, but uh, I think Jeff must have had most of your damage, so... Yeah, this isn't going to work. And this boogie tent is much angrier. Just wants to kill. I think, I think that might be it for Taco, and I, I don't blame him. Uh, I hate that he had to take a DNF for, for, for this, but uh, yeah, he's saying in chat that, it, that he's, he's done. That really sucks, because it was going to be a, an amazing run, but Taco, even though you're 0-2, don't forget, 2-2s two and twos are going to get in, so just come in here, win out, you getting the low 110s, that's going to be more than enough to to have some victories in your way, so let's uh, let's get it on the next round, okay? But we got uh, Jimothy on the Skyrunner, trying to make it through. So, uh, reminder, Jimothy's PB is a 135, uh, and they're currently about 7 or 8 minutes ahead. So hopefully... Uh, and they're currently about 7 or 8 Ooh, minutes don't, ahead. Don't listen to me saying the same thing again. <laughs> Um, let's, let's cut off, uh, Taco here. Down there. Let's see if we can't get Jimothy a PB real quick. Thanks for the raid, by the way, Taco. Do appreciate it. By the way, when we're done, uh, Temple or, or anyone that, um, has admin rights, um, I've never been good at doing raids, so if someone else wants to queue up a raid... I'm all for it. Yeah, Uko's that Uko's 106 was pretty awesome. 
Wish I could have a 106. Teddy bear plus skip sandwich. All right, buggy tent. Let's be good for Jimothy. Going with a rockin', going all out offense. Big bottle rocket. 104, we need about 470. That's enough. Jimothy with a, I think it could be a 126. Huge PB for Jimothy. While we're letting that roll, reminder everyone, four restreams tomorrow, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, noon Eastern Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, and 9.30 Eastern Time. Make sure to check all these Earthbound Boogie Runs restreamed right here on EBSS channel. Gotta get M to level 11. There's 11. And let's see if we can get out of here with a 126. Come on, come on, come on. I think that was a 126. I think it was a 126.59. I'll check it back later. Uh, but that is that is going to be it. Thank you, everybody. I remember to hit the button. <laughs> <clears throat> all right everyone thanks for hanging out i hope you enjoyed the quad we had quite the uh the entertainment there especially there at the end but unfortunate for uh taco but i hope all the others are are good to go and uh we will see you guys tomorrow have a good night and make sure to come back we'll see you then bye guys <laughs>